What up, YouTube? Welcome to Healing Power Divine Universe. I am a messenger for the higher power, and my God is here today to deliver channeled messages through my psychic abilities to help heal the sicknesses in this world and to point out people that are breaking the law and definitely needing to be seen for who they are. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start by showing you my tarot and oracle cards I pulled for this channeled message, then move on to this badass channeled message. We have justice, karma, people that are receiving justice either in the universal justice or in a real court of law that isn't corrupt, especially in Wyoming. We have Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Spiritual warfare. God is the most powerful spirit, by the way. God is here to stay and is, by the way, taking that devil's place. So you better say the truth or God will say, fuck you. Vanity. Creativity. Fifth house passion. Performance. Entertainment. Creativity. Costume. Plays, love affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, humor, romance, and disco ball. Taurus and Libra. We have Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thought they were getting away with it. God said, no fucking way. Gossip. Fighting. Opposition balance, relates, mirrors, interacts, confronts, makes conscious, manifests, disciplines, conflicts with, tests, objectifies, and calls out. Sign of Aries, Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio. The Hierophant, fake uh, ministers. This is also cult leaders. This is anyone that is um, projecting themselves out to be a godly person, a chosen one, but is definitely linked to the devil. This card represents the fucking devil also, people. These are people worshiping um, an individual that it has fucking uh, brainwashed them, that has corrupted their life, that has definitely put them in positions that they're going to be facing jail time or prison. Con artists, faking jobs to steal identities and stealing from their employers and are so caught too. By the way, they said you will rot in prison today and every day for the rest of your lives too. Good luck, LOL. Service. Turning in. And then last but not least, Neptune dreams, imagination, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, and magic, sign of Pisces. Okay, so let's move on to this channeled message. Now, who isn't linked into my YouTube again, trying to shut me up? Well, that crew from Babson's office just was called out, so it is that governmental not employee, Sarah Rose, fake degree, fake DA in Rollins, Wyoming? Or is it that Fred Byers, who, by the way, is a non-fake FBI agent out of D.C.? Or is it a CIA agent named Jazz Marie Fake Sparks 2? Well, see, I am just getting started with this fake channel, by the way. So let's start with the names again, as I have no class. That fake doctor claimed. Vernon, that is a heroin addict too. Then there are the Colbert non-dead crew. And let's not forget that ugly daughter of Alicia Blackwell's. That is a prostitute for real as she too is not alive again too. Then her son who was never molested. Laugh my fucking ass off. Then really ugly fake massage therapist Callie Chavez uh, Terse that hates me because Robbie Terse masturbates to anything that walks, and he too is dead again today too. Now there is Lance Atkinson that owes me a real therapy session, by the way. Then that owner of Not DT's Liquor Mart, you see, as he, him, and Gross Ed are both dead this day again. Then Larry, that is ugly too, who claimed to be taking care of me, that raped half of me while I was passed out. Then, oh, crawl in the vents, Merle, 
that is a sick man too that used to touch himself to even a woman that would pee in that human trafficking bar that flopped so bad they renamed it to Poisoning Susie, the cowboy bar, in not Cheyenne, by the way. Laugh my fucking ass off. Then Curtis contacts me and his lonely rea reality as he is a rapist too with Lisa Wade by his side on my birthday years ago too. Now there is that crown bar that old Gus runs with their heroin addict girls that are drugging even him according to his Lee Harvey's obsession with sucking his limp dick too. That old Teddy Bundy lives in now even though he died yesterday too. Now, okay, let's not stop there, as I need to say the Eagles' horrible drug-infested nest is drugging bitch Linda no more as she was killed by Dallas and Charlie Willis, who raped no one as she would never allow his cock to be seen in there after meeting me too. Laugh my fucking ass off. Okay, then Flavia Little drinks night and day and not in between selling heroin and meth too. By the way, her son is never to eat a decent food as he hates everything but heroin-filled cupcakes. Now, her fag boyfriend Troy is a chef that works nowhere as he poisoned that Glicko sheriff for arresting me again for not sleeping with them too. Okay, then there is Joe heroin addict hitman McHenry that was supposed to beat up my king, that child molester, but instead they robbed him too, laugh my fucking ass off. And no, he would he never returned my stuff to Rena Center, who is now claiming I paid nothing in Riverton, Wyoming, where they are using my credit again too. Okay, then Yvonne poisoned no one but Bree with her fucking fake lupus fake death claims too. Now Erica was supposed to lend me forty bucks to claim I stole it too, but really sent it to Bert Limp Dick Pearson. Laugh my fucking ass off. Okay, I'll be back as I shit my pants according to that child molester Mark Martinez that is a non-registered sex offender living with Nadine's dead brother in her child molester house too. Good luck as I am never to believe you didn't know me too. Laugh my fucking ass off. Peace and blessings.